is the Harbor Freight Chicago Electric Power Tools brand heater attachment which is for use with they say on the package here or on the item here item 93231 that's for an older blower they no longer carry but not to worry it will still work with the one I just reviewed which is item uh, let's see if it will focus there for you 69721 uh, it fits the same and works the same. Uh, they uh, they don't work independently of each other. In other words, you can't just use this without that. You need to get this first, and then you can buy that. And the heater basically warms up the air that comes out of it. It attaches very easily. This is uh, basically metal construction here, as you can see. There's a clasp at the bottom, and a plug, which is conveniently just the right length to plug right into the unit. So here's how this works. You just take the uh, clasp like that, just move that out of the way just so it hangs, and then you fit this right over the top, just like that. And then it kind of sits there, just like this, and right underneath you just clip it right in. And then all you do, of course, is just plug it in right there, and now you have a heater. Now you can still use the blower just like this. You can see just like that. Turn it on. But the heater without it on will attenuate the flow. So it's best to probably take this on and off as needed uh, rather than leave it on there attenuating the flow. Plus you probably don't want that air going over the coils. They may be delicate, things like that. So you really don't want to do that. But uh, to give you an idea, I have a uh, infrared thermometer here. I have the heater, uh, I'm sorry, the blower on high right now. And uh, the air coming out of there says it's about 76.8. We'll flip this on right over here. And we're uh, steadily climbing. To about 101, 102 degrees, 105, and of course if I get closer it'll get even hotter than that, all the way up to, I saw about 150 before there, there you are, so just like that, and of course you can still adjust the speeds, if you put it on low you get a little bit warmer air because the air is not rushing out quite as much, you can turn the uh, heater on and off independently of course of the uh, blower, but the outlet on this, I'll show you here, it, uh, the heater actually has a built-in uh, wing in it that actually knows when the air is flowing, so we'll shut the element off. This is the light here that shows that the element is on, so if I shut the blower off, you'll see that'll go out after a few seconds. And if I put the blower back on, it takes a few seconds for it to kick on just like that. So that's really it. This is the heater from Chicago Electric Power Tools from Harbor Freight that goes along with the central machinery blower. Again, the heater is item 93272. Ignore this number because it's incorrect. The correct number is now covered up by the heater, so I can't show you that, but it was earlier in the video. So thanks very much for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time.